Good afternoon, St. Matthews, and welcome into noon prayer once again. On this Thursday of the sixth week after Epiphany, an order of service for noonday begins on page 103 in your Books of Common Prayer. Let us enter into God's courts. O God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And now continuing at the bottom of page 103, let us say together a portion of Psalm 119 in unison. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now, turning the page to the top of page 106, a reading from 2 Corinthians. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away, behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Blessed Savior, at this hour you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms. Grant that all the peoples of the earth may look to you and be saved for your tender mercy's sake. Amen. Well, I invite your intercessions, your thanksgivings, any petitions, requests. We pray for Joe, our president, for Kamala, our vice president, for Kay, our governor, for Paul, our mayor. We pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, for Glenda and Brian, our diocesan bishops. We pray for Father Steve, Father Sam, and Bob. We pray for Dylan, our associate rector, for Lynn, our deacon. We pray for Karen, our postulant for holy orders. Now, in keeping with our practice of praying for five, we pray for Tom and Caroline McGee, for John McGee, Matt and Christy McGuire, Aaron and Mallory McNully, Lynn Meager. Okay, dear friends, I look forward to seeing you on Sunday for our opportunities for worship. We will have Holy Eucharist at 8.30 in the morning, 11 o'clock in the morning, and then again at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Until then, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.